Let's say in your game, you've created an eight directional top down movement. This is nice. You want to create an MMORPG or an RPG, whatever it may be, but this may not be what you want. Maybe you want grid based movement similar to Pokemon back in the day. Now, this is not too difficult. What we can do is head over to our script here and let's take a look at what we have so far. So right now, all we do is get our input vector based on the action strength of our right and left and then the down and up. This will allow us to move in eight directions and then we set the velocity to it. Now this can work, but a different way to do this would be to essentially check for each of these by themselves. And that is how we would create a four directional movement. So what this would look like is let's take this. And what we'll do here is I'm going to save the input vector outside of the function. Now what I'll do is every time I go into this physics process, I'm going to just delete this and say input direction is equal to uh, vector two, zero. So we're going to reset it to basically zero, zero. And then we're going to check to see if I go down. Now, if I do go down, what I will do is I will set the input vector or direction to vector two, zero, one. Zero, one essentially is up or sorry, down, right? Now, the reason it's down inside of Godot is the positive is downward. So here you can see that the positive is down and the negative is up. Right? So negative 250 is up there. So if we head back to our script, similarly, we can uh, make sure that this is actually input direction right here. Now, similarly, we can essentially continue this and do the up where but this would be negative. We can do the right where this will be one zero. And then I'm going to let you guess. Well, you hopefully you guessed right. The left will be negative one zero. So now that we have our input direction, all we need to do now is move and slide. However, there is kind of an issue. Well, how do we move? Now, there's a few options. Of course, we could just set our velocity equal to input direction times, let's say, 10,000 and then times delta. And then if I hit play, we should be able to move every time I click. And this kind of gives us a weird grid like movement. Now, this doesn't really fit what I want, but it does somewhat work. Now, if you want it to run smoothly in a, in a sense, all we need to do is change this to is action pressed. This will essentially allow us to hold down our button. Now, when I hold down, I can move smoothly, whereas before it was a one click. So just pressed checks to see if I essentially just click it once, whereas uh, action press allows me to check if I'm holding down my button. So, OK, that's not what we want, though. So what we want is to kind of animate our player from its current position to let's say if I click right, I want it to move right, right by like, let's say 16 pixels. If my uh, tile size is 16 pixels, that's how much I want to move. So, OK, let what we'll do is we'll create some new variables. One will be the tile size. So this can depend on how big your tile sizes are in your game. And for me, it'll be 16. And we'll also create a new variable called moving. This will allow us to keep track of if I'm moving or not. Now, what I'm going to do now is inside of every one of these, if I click something, I'm just going to call this function called move. Oops. There we go. Now, inside of this function, I need to create a function. So what we'll do is I'll create a new function down here called move. I'll just pop this out. And here we go. Now, inside of here, there are two things I need to check for first. First, I'm going to check to see if input direction is valid and if moving is false. I don't want to be moving again if I'm already moving. All right. So now what I can do is I can set moving to true if I am not moving, because now I'm going to be moving. Then we're going to use something called tweening. Now, tweening is a very nice way to animate something. So tweening will this in our case will tween the position. So we're going to take our current position and then tween it to the next position that we want. So to create tweening, all we need to do is create a tween by saying variable tween is equal to create tween. And then to tween the position, all we need to do is say tween dot tween property because position is a property that we want to tween or animate. And we're going to tween it from its current position to the position plus the input direction times the tile size. Now, this is the speed that we will be animating at. So you'll kind of see some examples when we actually hit play, but this will kind of be how fast it goes from one tile to the other. Now, when 
the player finishes tweening though, what I want to do is call tween callback. This will be another function that will create called move false. This will just tell us that moving is now false. So I'm basically done moving. So that's it. This is our eight directional movement that is grid based. Now what I can do is hit play. And every time I move and hit something, you can see my player moves about 16 uh, tiles. Now here, if I change it to 32, you can see he moves a little wider. If I change it to 64, which is another common size of our tile, you'll see he moves from, you know, 64 pixels, basically. And the cool part about this is that it will move based on this speed. So if I reduce this to one or increase it to one, this will take a little longer to go to each position. Now, it might be hard to notice on my screen, and you should try this yourself, but if I am moving, let's say I move up, and then I try clicking right right away, he will not go right until I finish moving up. So here, if I'm trying to go right, he won't move to the right until I'm finished moving to the previous tile. So that was the advantage of keeping track if we're actually moving or not. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, if you guys found this useful and enjoyed it, now do also keep in mind, we could actually just remove the move and slide because we're no longer using position or uh, velocity, sorry. So we don't actually need that. But yeah, so this is it. If you guys found this video useful, please hit the sub button down below. Uh, subscribe to my email listing down below as well. I give you free offers of uh, different things I have, different courses, uh, exclusive offers. Um, I also give you free uh, weekly challenges every week. Uh, the video will go up on my channel, etc, etc. So definitely check it out. Uh, and I will hopefully see you guys again in the future. And bye bye for now.